Hey, this is Darren here. Got Harlan background. So we've already cut this uh, concrete. This is for a pit for an elevator. Uh, we've already sectioned it and gave us our stuff with another buffer cut. Sometimes when we cut this, uh, I should say most of the time, um, when we cut it like that, we're able to take them out in those pieces. This one's right here, even though we cut it, it it's breaking up piece by piece, but that's okay. By us cutting it ahead of time like that, it'll it'll keep it from spreading out into the rest of the um, concrete. So that's good. All right, so. What you doing? Concrete. Oh. Yeah, we don't like that. But let me show you what we're having to work with. We have a dump trailer. And this doesn't show exactly how steep it is, but it's <laughs> really steep coming out of here. Okay. Is that it? <laughs> Let me uh I'm going to spray this with uh, used motor oil. I actually dilute it a little bit with either, most most time with diesel. You got to get it diluted enough to go through those uh, yard sprayers. Those work pretty good. So we spray we spray the forms uh, so that way the concrete doesn't adhere, bite into that wood. Is is hard now. Of course you can't do this on everything, but it's a pro tip for you that you spray your concrete forms and get them off the next day. That way you don't have to peel those things off in instantly. Of course you wouldn't peel them off instantly because the, the concrete would fall out, but you get what I mean. You don't have to get those forms off within a few hours. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. It looks like we forgot to dilute it, so I'm gonna have to find a brush and brush it on. Okay, so it didn't work out as I planned. I uh, refilled the 
put used motor oil on it and forgot to dilute it. That sometimes happens uh, when the spray sets for a few weeks without between using it. Either way, it's coated. Took quite a bit longer, but it's done. At least we can get our forms off. What? Bring it back for when we pull the forms off. All right. 